I got a meeting with the studio on the screenplay. It was my first me meeting ever, mind you, of, of, of any note. And I come in with, with a Public Enemy t-shirt on and some jeans and stuff, and I have this whole kind of like notion that I'm gonna f spin galley them into doing this film. But my father always told me that in the art of sales, you don't act, you don't really actively sell something to them. It made people feel like they've actually, you know, they've actually gone out and bought it themselves. You don't have to, you know, you don't let, make them know that you're convincing them to your way of thinking. So my attitude was just to be play it very, very cool. And they asked me a question. They said, so we hear you want to direct this movie. And I said, I'm going to direct this film. And I said, well, why do you think you can direct this film? And I said, because I was born to direct it. And I said, well, what if we want to just give you some money and we'll have somebody else do this film? I said, well, then we have to end this meeting. I said, because I'm making this film. You know, this is a film that me and my friends sat up on the porch, talked about the need to be done. And, um, you know, it's like Easy Rider. You know, it's, it's going to tap into something that basically is happening that hasn't been expressed on film before. And I said, it's not going to cost a lot of money. And um, the president of Columbia at the time, Frank Price, basically nodded his head. And they told me later on that day, you know, hey, you know, you're going to make your movie. And then I was scared because I was like, oh, man, you know, because <laughs> I hadn't really directed anything. I directed, you know, stuff on video and some eight millimeter shorts with no sound on them and stuff. But it hadn't been no applicable thinking of how to shoot a film. And so um, after I got the gig to do the film, I just basically ensconced myself in my small apartment watching, you know, videotapes like, you know, 12 hours a day of, of my favorite films, you know, like The Godfather and Jaws and The 400 Blows and Seventh Samurai. And I make note about what made these films great. I have a big note that I had used at that time, uh, showing characters in relationship to their environment, whatever that means, but having a shot that basically the environment and the characters are interacting and expressing a certain theme at, that, that's trying to be conveyed in, in, into the scene. Like, you know, where the little boy is walking up the street along from school and in the background there's some men playing dice and then a fight breaks out and he turns over his shoulder and looks at it. And it says so much, you know, um, with one shot, um, I think it's, uh, there's a thing in still photography called reportage. Um, a, a, a French photographer named Cartier Bresson was a, a big exponent of reportage, and I was trying to like do that, and you know, with certain single images, express themes that are in my, in, in in a story, and those are just things that I, I came up with, you know, on a natural order of just of a desperation to want to wanting to make a good film.